What percentage of these social media girls are on free sites, social media, and apps do you think are prostitutes looking for Johns? <sighs> the definition of a prostitute is difficult in Ukraine. Because, again, like I mentioned earlier, here the women have oftentimes a mentality of survival. And to even if you described the mentality of an average Ukrainian girl to an average American, um, you know, who has a more empowered view of women, or you could call it a more um, feminism empowered type of lady. Uh, she would look at a lot of these girls as either gold diggers or even prostitutes. Um, coming from somebody like myself who spent time in Ukraine, um, obviously I see it differently. I see some of these girls as they are looking for a guy who has decent financial means, who's able to provide for them, um, who's able to give them a decent lifestyle. And every, every girl has a different mentality towards money. Some of them have incredibly high um, standards of living. And uh, as a guy, for some, it will be too high for them. Um, you know, for example, some of them on the first date will want to go to a five-star restaurant. And yeah, she might sleep with you. Uh, would, you would I call her a prostitute? Probably not. But uh, this is, uh, this, especially in Kiev, Odessa, and some of the cities, this is a very common um, style of dating, and women here like to be spoiled, and uh, this happens commonly. Now, if we were to talk about strictly exchanges of money for sex, I would, I would say it's much lower. I think that uh, the average girl here does not want to be thought of as a prostitute. I think that's still in Ukraine, a negative word. Um, however, I think it's... I think it still happens. I think it's just without s something that's so evident and that's so direct. Yeah, interesting point you make. Um, difficult to distinguish between a girl's intention. I was speaking uh, mostly of like a lady that's clearly a prostitute and is seeking and advertising for a John using these apps. Any idea how prevalent? Sure. So the word here is sponsor. This is the word that's typically used in Ukraine because, again, like I said, most ladies in Ukraine do not want to be considered a prostitute, and they're not going to be asking for money directly. But the terminology here is sponsor, and that is the same word, I believe, in Russian. They will use sponsor. And that is somebody who's going to sponsor their life in exchange for sex. In America, we might call that an arrangement. Um, here they would call that, some of them who are more educated or more westernized would also call that arrangement. However, in the apps, if someone comes across the word looking for a sponsor or sponsorship, this is what that means. I believe that if we're looking at kind of the overall big picture, I would say around 10%, maybe it's higher, but around 10% of girls who have come across are looking for a sponsor. Um, some of them, again, it's plainly written in a profile. Other, it comes out over time. When you go on the first date, they make it clear what they're looking for. Interesting. You know, there was um, a study uh, just published that uh, on average, there's 10% of American girls that are seeking arrangements. So my wife and I just did a... Um, you know, seeking arrangements, dating in Ukraine video. Uh, actually, I'll put it in the description below this video. Um, and we were guessing, you know, what, okay, 10% in America, what percent in Ukraine? And we came, we, we both guessed 30%, interestingly enough. But it, it is prevalent, isn't it? It's very prevalent. It is prevalent. It, it is, um, perhaps it's not as legalistic in terms of, Hey, give me five thousand. I'm going to do this for you. But it's there's almost like this unspoken agreement here that does happen often. I see a, a, quite a bit as someone who spends a lot of time in Ukraine, and I see it happen a lot with foreigners who are you know in their mid forties and above, and who are trying to date outside of their zone of success. They're you know within. 10 or 15 years of their actual age. 
So when men come here, they're in their 50s or in their 60s, and they're trying to date a woman between, well, you could call her a girl actually at this point, between 18 and 28 years old, they have to compensate somehow, some way. Um, these ladies, although this is Ukraine, although they are open to dating men the same age as their dad or older, and they are more open to that than the United States, uh, they know their value. These ladies are not stupid. They know that they could meet a successful man 20 years younger than this other guy. So this man typically is compensating. And it's these foreigners, and I would say too, there's a good portion of the Ukrainians who do this as well. And they're spoiling their ladies, and they're adding uh, to this whole situation of call it sponsorship or arrangements here in Ukraine. There's a large amount of well-intentioned men who first come to Ukraine seeking their wife, seeking their second half, and after a series of dates with nines and tens, their almost the chemistry of their brain changes, their goals change, and they become this type of, we call it in Ukraine, a babak, a ladies man. And babak. all of a sudden, at some point, maybe it's slow, maybe it's fast, we don't know when it happens, but they change from this man who came to Ukraine wanting a family, to a man who just knows he can get any girl and then loses his intentions. So let's uh, address the elephant in the room out of the gate here. Can I ask you why um, you've requested to be anonymous and go as Mr. X for this interview? Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one. Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.